This is the Atrium Hotel and Resort in Jogja. Now, why is it called a hotel and resort? This is the resort area, which is back. And then it's, it's well done because the street is all the way that way. So by being all the way on the other side, you'll be somewhat insulated from noisy motorcycles. The hotel portion is, let me just show you this one more time. The hotel portion is closer here towards the lobby. And you can see that obviously we're quite a bit, quite a, quite a ways away from the touristy areas of Borobudur and Palm Banan. We can also see that this is a very, very well-designed hotel. Uh, you can see that everything obviously works. You can see that they've, they've taken some diligence in choosing, you know, just all the different details over here. And you've got the newspapers here. We have a lot of beautiful artwork as well. And you can go ahead and just as soon as you come into the lobby, that's probably one of the things you'll notice. Now, let me go ahead and take you over here. Here's another one I like. And there's this interesting one here by the elevator. Now there's, I believe, six floors. So if you're gonna stay in the hotel portion of it, um, what's going to happen is you probably want to get a higher floor because you will be uh, somewhat nearby a, uh, perhaps, you know, the cars and so on. So these are the meeting rooms over here. So you'll notice that, you know, Jogja is supposed to be a combination of the Hinduism, hello, uh, it's supposed to be a combination of a lot of different influences, obviously a unique blend of Hinduism and Buddhism, and then you have Islam as well, um, but not, you know, a very unique form of Islam as well. Um, I know a lot of the um, different sultans, whether they were called pro bono, um, you know, or, or whatnot, uh, you know, they took more than four wives. So, you know, obviously they've got their own brand of Islam here, or they used to. And this is the swimming pool and it's beautiful you'll see over here here is a gym and everything to know that everything is obviously just very well done the key i suppose the key you know downside if you do want to stay here uh would be you know the same thing would might be the very reason why you would want to stay here uh which is the fact that you know you're away from you know, plumb down, you're away from the temples or the candies and so on. I, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but they call, uh, last time I checked, they call the temples here candy uh, with an I at the end. Uh, the meeting rooms are nice as well. So if you're looking to uh, do something there, you know, you've got that. But, you know, the whole reason to come here is to Jogja is going to be just that, that the idea that if you understand, you know, Hinduism and Buddhism, uh, then you're going to be able to, at least on some level, you know, understand the story within the temples here, um, particularly Borobudur. And here you are, here's the outside. When you come in, you're going to be coming in and looking for the Stein. There's a McDonald's right, right down the street. Uh, so if you want, if you're looking for a benchmark, look for a McDonald's. And then once you come down the street, um, on a side street, you're going to, you're going to be looking for the Stein. There is an ATM right there down this way um but i prefer bca not bni um and so i, I try to avoid bni uh when i can but uh from, from what i understand it does work uh the and there's a security guard over here and all the staff was excellent um you know perfectly nice reasonable uh very helpful uh if if you uh, want there's breakfast as well i like the breakfast it changes slightly every day so you know you're in a position where if you want if you can add breakfast for a reasonable cost you probably want to unless you want to go down to the mcdonald's and that's it here we are at the atrium